In this tutorial, we are going to install the Rust programming language using Conda. So first, if you don't have Conda installed, you can take a look at this tutorial installing Anaconda on Ubuntu 20 and creating a Conda environment that will give you all you need to install one of the many ways how you can install Conda. I already have Conda installed in this machine so when I open a terminal here it will come already with the Conda base environment activated so what I'm going to do is to Conda create from the channel Conda Forge with the name Rust Env and this environment will be a Rust environment. So Conda create from channel Conda Forge with the name Rust Env and I want a Rust environment. So I will proceed. So I can now activate the environment that we just created. It already gives you here how to activate. So we can just conda activate Rust Env. Now we're here in our Rust Env environment and we can check with this command Rust C version that we have Rust. 1.72 installed. So what we're going to do next is to create a hello world example and then we are going to configure Visual Studio Code and take a look at this hello world example. At first I will not explain Let's just get our hands dirty and get things running and then I will go back and explain, for example, what's cargo, and rust and things like that. But for now, let's just get our hand dirty to have this Hello World application and to configure Visual Studio Code to use with Rust in this Rust environment that we created using Conda. So let's type cargo new. Hello world. Oh, I'll move to my documents folder and here I'll do cargo new hello world. So created binary application hello world package and if we go here to the documents we have here the hello world and there is already a cargo to ml and a source folder with a main.rs inside so we have our hello world project created so let's see using vs code so if you don't have visual studio code installed you can easily install if you don't have VS Code installed, you can go to the Ubuntu software here and then you can click on code and install. And now we have our Visual Studio code and we can start it. I already have it installed, so I'll just run code. So I can, can go here, open folder, documents, and open this hello world folder. And we have here inside our source subfolder the main dot rs rs and here is our main function with that should print hello world like in any traditional hello world example so let me zoom in a bit here better see things 
And to use Rust with this VS Code, we need an extension. So let's install this extension, Rust Analyzer. So we go here to the extensions. We will install Rust Analyzer. So this is an extension that provides support for the Rust programming language. So it already installed. Let's install another extension so we can have better debugging tools. Rust, so code LLDB. So this is a native debugger powered by LLDB. It debugs C++, Rust and others, so we're installing. So this extension is enabled globally. Let's check here in our file, preferences, settings. Let's check if we have our breakpoint settings. So everywhere. Allow setting breakpoints in any file. Let's click that. Now here, let's add a configuration. So we have this launch JSON file with some configuration. And let's run this hello world with first run without debugging. And we have here our hello world. So let's test debugging. I will add another line here. So let's just copy that. And let's hello world again. But let's set a breakpoint here. Now let's start debugging. So we had our hello world. It hits our breaking point. Let's here and hello world again and that's it so we can now use some breaking points some debugging tools and we can run a rust hello world using vs code in the rust that we installed using conda and we created a rust environment and that's it for this tutorial